been a it's been a week this week um and i'm taking tomorrow off and i'm gonna have a special stream tomorrow because i'm gonna live stream microsoft's windows event where they will unveil windows 11 and talk about it in all of its glory and i'm nervous and excited and it'll be great it'll be fine and yeah but that means i took a day off of work uh, which i very much needed a day off of work so uh looking forward to that uh, but tonight tonight it's group therapy night and uh we're gonna do group therapy stuff i may play video games too i haven't decided yet no idea what's what exactly is gonna happen um but i think one thing that we should probably talk about tonight is burnout and stress management because I am burnt the fuck out at work. Um, Good, you're not attacking me. You're just attacking yourself. He's like, well done, extra crispy with uh, with work right now. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, so, um, let's see. So, we'll get into that in just a minute. Um, but, first things first. Um, hey, the bar. I'm going to bring up the bar until it hits 250. And then I'm going to set it to another ridiculously high number, and I'm not going to shut up about it then either. Um, you and your moving goalposts. Yeah, well, that's because I achieve a thing, and then I challenge myself to do another thing. See, that's how that works. Um, so the biggest thing is we're I want to give away another Game Pass Ultimate sub. And if you go to this nifty website with with which I am now affiliated, GamePassCounter.com, which I have talked about before. Um, it's phenomenal and amazing, and I love it. Uh, but it will show you all of the games that you're able to play with Game Pass Ultimate. So as soon as that thing hits 250, it's got to get all the way over there. Once it does, then I'm going to give away some shit. A three-month subscription to Game Pass Ultimate, in fact. That's not just console, that's PC too, so you know, you know the truth. Um, but yes, tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Eastern, I'm doing the Windows uh, live stream, so very, very excited about that. I had a lot of fun doing the Xbox Live coverage uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, that was so much fun. Uh, I'm still trying to find us a guest for tomorrow. We probably won't have one. Um, it'll probably just be me and whoever else is around to join me at the time. Um, but it'll be a fun time. And I'm looking forward to seeing all the shit that they unveil. And I will be wearing my Windows shirt with it. So, um, yes. Well, you have your... Oh, wait. It's not Xbox, so no foam finger. I mean, technically, Windows is the basis of the Xbox platform. So, yes. If you want to get technical, Xbox runs on Windows. So... It's it's relevant. Um, but I mean, I'm... Your face is relevant. It's true. I mean, his face is always relevant. But I mean, I keep the foam finger down now, so I have it anytime anyway. So it's right here. Um, okay. Um, and then Friday. Friday we'll be doing the fork knives as usual. Um, and then there's been talk of a new thing that I might try. We'll talk more about that probably on Friday. Ooh. Ooh. I'm not sure which new thing, but if it's the new thing I think I'm thinking of, I'm excited. I know. I know you would be excited because this this plays right into your strengths. Um, so I'm very excited about that possibility. Um, but in the meantime... I plan on working on that spreadsheet over the weekend. Okay. Cool. Eventually, it's, it's going to be... It'll be database driven, but that's that's not a today thing. That's a that's a like later later that's thing. That's a new problem. I don't. I'm I'm not. Skilled face in is database, database driven. My face is database driven. It's true. It's SQL driven. In fact, Microsoft SQL Server, not Oracle. Fuck Oracle. Okay. No one's anyway. taught me databases. I just do Excel. That's okay. You get... We'll we'll teach you. We'll teach you SQL. Oh boy. If anybody oh, can good. teach you SQL, it'll be that guy and me. Oh, we'll learn you some SQLs. Fifth. Viv, did you just summon me? I, I feel like you just summoned me. Um, I mean, if you teach me SQL, I could apply it for quantitative al uh, analyst jobs at my job, but they want SQL and Python, and since I don't know any of those, I don't feel like I can't apply. 
Just, mm. just, just smack him in the face, say you don't need Python, and then you get enough sequel. You it's just, fine. you just kind of look out there and you go list, and then suddenly, like Elena's <laughs> ears, she's like, she's like, I'm needed I'm somewhere. Summoned. What's, what's happening? And then like, suddenly, like, and just like, <laughs> uh, like these like sparkles and light shoots up, and then she just teleports out Mega Man style. We're all like one hundred percent accurate. Yeah. We're like the bat signal, but it's like that scroll emoji. My friends joke that I need to like start a traveling like organization, like consultancy, and just go around and help people organize <laughs> things. Whom's hath summoned the ancient one? I wouldn't call her ancient just because she's the I oldest am one. The oldest person in the house. Yeah, but that doesn't make you ancient. That just makes you the oldest comparatively. I mean, she's also she's the shortest. Oh, shut your that's, face! That's that's true. Actually, young, young in over there. Actually, technically, I'm the oldest here, so I. Uh, you're the oldest here, but I'm the oldest in the house, and you're not in my house. No, you're but in your house. Yeah, but you're here with me. I'm in your stream house. Well, yeah, so I'm the oldest one here. I'm not the oldest one there, but I'm the oldest one here. Hi, Vifa. I love you. I love you so much. Hi, Vifa. Um, Vifa. Yeah. So. <sighs> yeah, um, but, yeah, like, like Lollipop said, I am well done, extra crispy burnt. Um, I am not, stop spreading that fucking lie. God damn it, I am not the adultiest adult. We, you we are voted the adultiest on it. adult. It's, it's still just like the cognitive like, dissonance no here. Has, like, no one has even ever argued it. Like, <laughs> Hello, you're Stanley. the only one who argues it. Like, I didn't hear Tom's thing go off. I did. Oh. I didn't. I didn't okay. have the stuff output to y'all. I didn't. But you can hear it now. But I can't hear it now because it already went off. I mean. Uh... Let's see. Is it low? I mean, it's. Well, it's a little low on stream, but here. Just because, just because I like you. Hi, it's me, Stan. There you go. There we go. Thank you. Yep. No, no, you're, you're. Now I know Tom is here. Now you know Tom is here. That's right. Um. So. Let's see. So how do you manage your burnout since you're Mr. Extra Crispy right now? I don't fucking know. So. When I started, when I changed career paths about eight years ago, I was really nervous about it because I had done IT or IT adjacent things for fuck like a dozen years, and one day I was like, I gotta quit doing this shit. Like I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. And the only other thing that I knew how to do well enough to get paid for it was code, and um, I decided to go ahead and do it against my better judgment because coding was always my hobby and I didn't want to get a job doing it because I didn't want to, you know, ruin my hobby. Um, so I, uh, I did it anyway and now I'm kind of in one of those spots where like, I don't want to code for work anymore. In some days I just don't want to code at all anymore. And I've, thankfully in the last like couple of weeks I found side projects that have kept me from not wanting to code as a hobby um, I did let's see um, I took down my old blog um, I put up a brand new one that's like under the hood is drastically different um, like it's it's night and day. It used to be on WordPress, which is all of these things, these scripts running together at once. And now it's statically generated pages. So when you go to a page, it's just a .html page. That's it. Um, let's see. I'm working on. I built a little utility to um, 
export all of my short links from Bitly that I've had for years because I've I've got like a custom like a vanity domain over there, um, and I want to take those and make my own link shortening service, um, which I'm working on, but it's you know I I couldn't stand it up in a day. It takes it takes a little bit longer than that. Um, but I started playing with some new technology, stuff I haven't worked with before, and I was able to spend less money in my Microsoft Azure subscription now because I'm changing stuff around, which is nice, and it's less stuff to manage, and I got all of my code on GitHub, which is drastically different than the me like three from like three years ago where I swore I wouldn't use Git. And then Microsoft bought it, so now you're like, okay. It's not that. It's just like, it's so much easier, and everything's built around GitHub now. Even in Azure, like all of the stuff, like all the the, the static website stuff, the, the static web app stuff is built with GitHub integration in mind. So you link your GitHub repo, and it's like, okay, I built your, I built your CI CD script, and you're done now. Where if I had to, if I did it with DevOps, I would have to go through like all these hoops. I haven't used Bitbucket, um, but I mean, it's, it's, just, it's basically the same thing. Like Bit Bitbuckets, yeah, it's yeah. it's fine. I've used Bitbucket before; it's okay. <laughs> have you used Bitbucket integrated with Jira? No. Ooh, 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 ooh. I imagine that's just. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. No, I I convinced Ooh. um ba back in the day when I was a uh I, I was a a temp with a salary. I uh I talked one of the clients that I was sent to into using Bitbucket over his zipped up vial of zip backups for his code base and I was like this is this is marginally better. I I will take it. I will settle here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, it's free. So, like, you know, whatever. That was, that was the biggest selling point for him was, yes, it, it was free. Yeah. I mean, that's, like, now that GitHub lets you have unlimited private repos for free, I mean, there's basically no point not to, for me anyway. Because, like, all of my, oh, let's see. I would love to move Elena's Polish website over to Azure, but I don't. I, I cannot justify how much Azure costs in, in comparison to where we currently got hosted at. Yeah. So, like, if you look here, you can see that I've got on my in my GitHub now. I'm up to 14 repos, and let's see. Most of them are all. Let's sort by name. So this is the Azure Boards estimating tool that came from uh, Azure DevOps that got shut down, and then the back end for that. So I stood those up, what, like... Two, three weeks ago? Like, yeah, like not even a month ago, I guess. Um, uh, updated well, on April 22nd, so yeah, about a month uh, well, for the back end. That's a, that's a couple of months now. Oh, you know what it was? No, it was before it was before my wedding trip, so it's been a couple of months now. Yeah, you know, you're right. Oh, wow. Tw time flies when you're being an adult. Time, Shit. time sure fucking flies. Yep. So let's see. Um, then I got my chocolatey packages, which I got to go back and fix a thing. My coding standard stuff, which I haven't touched in, you can see, almost a year. And then you can see that I've come down here. So like... Website of mine, the Firebot, the the actual bot source code here. Um, so, website, the multi-stream site, old sin grid shit that I'm... You know what, I don't fucking need this anymore. It's just... Keep it around like we have sweet alerts at work. Nah. Let's just see. Just see. <laughs> oh, whatever. This is how we uh, 
This is how we prevent burnout at work. We delete repositories. It's true. All right, so let's go back. So then there's the multi-stream site. There's the YouTube link, which is youtube.zunderscore.tv. This goes to my YouTube. Zunder.co, which is what I'm, which currently it's on Bitly, but I'm working on propping it up for um, its own service. There's Zunderscore, which is just like my default repo. There's .com, there's .tv. .com is the main site. .tv is the redirect to Twitch. And then there's the store, which is store.zunderscore.tv. Um, so, I mean, like most of it has been in the last, like, three weeks just propping up sites and shit. So, yeah. I mean, that's, that's the kind of stuff that I've been working on to at least keep me in code stuff but it's you know like you know oh you finished your web scraper nice oh yeah yeah that kind of stuff is good at least like a, it's a little challenge but it's it's something that you like you know how to do you just have to go through and get everything done with it and make sure all the pieces are in place that kind of stuff is nice to have um so I do I do enjoy that, um, but yeah, that's 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 what I've been working on is to try to, you know, keep I don't know keep myself from hating code altogether. It's trying to do some stuff that's still fun, you know. I'm actually finding like the work that I've been doing today was a lot of surrounded. Uh, with .NET Core, Entity Framework Core specifically, and like actually spending a lot of time getting into the database side of things and messing with all of that, it's just been a change of pace and just doing, like, I think that's one of the things that I've liked about being a full stack developer is that if you can come up with an excuse that you need to go into this part of the stack, you can change yourself up, up a little bit and keep it at least semi new. Yeah, and that's that's something that I've actually been enjoying at work. Like, um, since we started doing Angular stuff last year, um, it's kind of given me a chance to to learn some of these heavier JavaScript frameworks. Is I don't like JavaScript. I just don't like. I fucking don't. It's JavaScript. It's messy. It's it's just it's a clusterfuck. I don't I don't like weakly typed languages or loosely typed languages. That's why I like C sharp so much. Like C sharp is very deliberate. Um, JavaScript is very just fucking do whatever you want. Everything's whatever. I'm not a Your typing is weak and you won't last the winter. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, it, yeah, like I just that's that's why I like C sharp better because just the structure of everything like it's it's very structured. It's it's fairly strict, but it's still like, um, like it's still very powerful and flexible, um, just with everything that you can throw on top of it to do, um, and like the language features that they've been adding the last several years have been amazing. Like there's all kinds of cool shit that you can do with it now, um, but yeah, that I actually like. I like TypeScript only because TypeScript TypeScript is the best that you can do with JavaScript, I think. To me. To me. Like there's there's not much you You can't do much worse than JavaScript. I like TypeScript. I I like I get it. It it makes more sense to me. Um Java and C sharp, like Java's C sharp is just telling Java what it should have been from the get go. Um, I don't. I, RAM prices are too high for Java right now, in my opinion. I mean, honestly, <laughs> honestly, but like, let's, I'm only like 
sort of joking on that too. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, let's be real. C sharp is C sharp and .net is basically going back and saying, "Hey Java, remember how you said you could run everywhere? This is how you do it." Like here we are in 2021. Like .net is the new fucking doom because it'll run on everything. Okay, that's fair, Vifa. That's fair. I for for Android development, yes, Java absolutely. Or because I'm not a shill or anything, but Xamarin, Xamarin's nice because at least you still get to have your C sharp. Um, but yeah. So anyway, now that this has turned into a dev talk, but that's... Well, and I think that's part of helping with burnout. Like if you talk about and share projects that you're excited for, that you're wanting to do, that is outside of your normal thing. I think that that's like that's the exciting stuff to talk about. That's what keeps things interesting. So it's yeah. like, yep, for sure. Especially because like at work, the coding itself isn't, at least from where I'm sitting, it isn't what burns me out. It's, it's everything, everything wrapped around, around it. it. It's, yes. It's everything around it. Yeah. Yeah. Like scrums, the best, or like this environment is the best that I've been in and it still can be frustrating at times. So yeah, for I, sure. I totally get, get the burnout. Yeah, for sure. And I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I will get out of my slump eventually. Like I've, I've been in burnout slumps before with the coding stuff. I'm, I'm sure I'll, I'll make my way and trudge through it. Um, it's just, it sucks because this is the worst burnout I've had in a very long time. And I know it's we're at a very unique time in I'm in a unique time in my life. We're in very unique circumstances. Um just as a species. Like we're we're slowly trying to make our way out of a pandemic. <sighs> Where most of us have you know been in the house for uh, you know 15 plus months and we're finally getting back out into the world but trying to readjust to all of that is mentally exhausting i was gonna say you're an extrovert who was locked up for your own good for over a year and so i can't i can ima only imagine that that's not helping yeah and so now readjusting to it is just like, like I haven't done this in a while. Like I know it's like riding a bike, but you know, if it's been a long time since you've ridden a bike, you're gonna fall over and scrape your knees every once in a while. So you know, we talked about that I guess a couple of months ago, Viva, how like the beginning to middle of lockdown was when things started to get really bad for the extroverts and coming up toward the end of it is what's get like how it's gotten really bad for the introverts because now like the anxiety of having to go back out into the world and like deal with people and be around people and like feel that drain after you've been inside and you haven't had to do a lot of that for a while that's yeah right it's like it's like really introverted people basically come up with coping mechanisms for having to be around people and like you don't work on that regularly you're gonna get get stagnant with it i know there's a lot of people that are just like like i went to get a root canal a couple weeks ago and the lady at the front desk was talking about how like like they got they uh didn't have to wear masks anymore and she got used to people not seeing her face. Yeah. So she could make faces at people or do whatever she wanted to do. And she kind of had to unteach herself from that. I, found that. I still find that funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the lack of traffic has was nice. Yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, unfortunately, Viv, I mean, you're an essential worker. Like, we need food and shit, you know? Whether we're going to go and get it ourselves or somebody else is going to get it. Like, we have those Listen. needs, and... Listen, it's not our fault Viv's a snack. That's, that's also true. 
You're right, though. We've been doing this long enough that my work has gotten more manageable. I don't know if our volumes are, are down over last year or if we've just gotten so fucking used to it and improved some things. But I'm just so grateful that this year is not as bad as last year was. Yeah. Yeah, I am... I'm glad that, that a lot of places, and certainly not everywhere, but a lot of places are adapting to this. Um, for example, you know, our team at work, me and Lollipop's team, like our entire dev group, um, we're, we're fully remote now. And we got hired, you know, we've talked about this before, but we got hired with the understanding that we would be in the office roughly half of the time. Um, and... You know, six months goes by, we get into this the thick of this pandemic, everybody gets sent home, and then another couple of months goes by, and our VP, who hired us to be in the office, was like, you know, this is actually working out really well for everybody. Everybody's doing really well with this remote thing. We're remote. If you want to come into the office, you can, but you don't have to. Um, we're now planning our first, like actual get together since everybody went home um for some time in late august um it'll be all of it so um the application development group which is which is us um it so like help desk it engineering stuff like that and then um the information security group um so trying to get everybody together and at least like see each other and you know, we've we've had new people come on, and um, no, thank you. Which, I mean, <laughs> sure, sure, but some of us need that. I I know I know some of you need that. I I just I am I hate giant work events. Yeah, I understand. I, I, hate I understand. Giant work. Like I'm okay with like like I went out with you and Bean to Mel's. That was fine, but like I. I hate the ginormous work events. Like, I, I'm i so grateful that, like, the only work stuff we do is usually in our thing, and I have opted out of the potlucks enough that even the, like, party planners know they, like, ask me once and then leave me alone. Yeah. I'm just like, no, like, they'll, they'll just drag a bunch of tables over and I just don't go, and I just go back to work, because I'm like, please, just, I don't want to eat in front of a bunch of random people, thanks, no. Yeah. Yeah, Viva, I kind of hate that when you have shitty co-workers who ruin stuff and dictate policy for everybody because of the shitty people. I'm, yeah. I'm actually really pleased with our company that from what I'm hearing, and I mean this could all change with whoever they sell us to, but from what I'm hearing, like um, customer service isn't going to have to come back. It's going to be optional. Um for most groups our group obviously it's not going to be optional when they get there but they haven't even really determined what that's going to look like and we handle physical stuff like we've been struggling for a year and a half now i can't it, it's not like some places that are like get back in the office even though you're you know 10 times more productive from home no we're not no. we're not we can't be we can't do our work like N not for what you do no my department, it is completely justified to be like, please get back in the office. Yep. <laughs> like when, when it is possible for your staff to work from home and they have been working from home, uh, the right answer is to make it an option to continue to work from home. Yep. Or coming to the like, it's, it's that's the right answer, and yep. it's the honestly the people that swing one way or the other because like. I think I'm forcing everyone to stay from home, stay at home too, when, you know, they have the option of going into the office and they would prefer to go into the office. I don't think that's much better. No, no, I don't think so either. I, I think I would prefer to be like hybrid. If I, if I had a job that allowed it, I think I would prefer to be hybrid. Like, let me come into the office a couple of days a week and really focus. Yeah. But let me do my like Mondays and Fridays from home or something. You know, yeah. just have a couple of days I don't have to commute. Yeah. Or like whatever my busy day is. Okay, I'll come into the office because I, I I think I do a little bit of better work in the office than I do from home. Yeah, yeah. I'm. 
I didn't want to be remote. And this was like a couple of years ago. I didn't want to be remote at all. And then I like a, a, a switch flipped for me. And I'm like, no, I just I, I want to be able to be remote. Like, I don't and I don't know what it is. But I think it's just like hating to make the commute. Especially where like where you guys have a sucky commute though. And like that's and that's the thing, like it's not terribly far. Like we're not like Vifo, we don't live, you know, hundred and twenty miles from where we work. Like You might as well if there's a crash on Courtney Causeway though. Right. We like we live I live I live ten miles from the office. Ten. Ten. But because there's like so few major roads between here and the office and there's really only a couple and all of the the tampa metro area are using those those main roads at in the mornings and the afternoons to commute it gets slow as fuck so a 10 mile commute ends up being like an hour like actually mm -hmm. an hour like my 20 because i i think my like i'm like I think I'm like 13 miles commute. Yeah. Is like half your time because I'm just going down to St. Pete and coming back up and right. unless 19 like gets really blocked up but then I take like one of like five other roads. So like staying within Pinellas it's is such super a bad easy. Hour. It's such a frustrating hour like the stop and go, the idiots like cutting, swerving, just uh and on the way home, you guys don't even get, like, you can barely see the water. On the way in, you can at least see the water to your right, but. Well, and the thing is, is that that commute, the commute is probably the biggest thing for me. The wear and tear on my car not having to happen. The at least two hours of my day that I get back because of it. Like. Yep. And then there's just also the part where we were able to have now that everything's starting to open up again you were able to have someone just come on by today and give us a quote for replacing our fence yeah because i was just home and i was available to do that yeah we, like, had, we had somebody show up on monday to do some work on the house and i just i'm like hey i'll be in my office knock on the door if you need something and they came they did what they had to do and they they're like all right i'm done see you later and that was it like Great. Yeah, just the fact that like people that whenever I'm trying to schedule stuff, they try to be like flexible with me about what times I have available and I'm just I just out with it and I'm just like I work from home. Literally what is easiest for you? Because I can be it here Not any time. Tuesday when I'm presenting. That's about it. That's about it, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But even then if I scheduled that ahead of time enough, I could be like I don't want to present this week. I've got something going on and I will swap with someone. Right. We actually, we actually had that with, I was supposed to present last sprint and I'm presenting this sprint because, uh, the guy that was supposed to, this sprint is going to have time off this week or this right. sprint and doesn't want to do it. So we're like, okay, that's fine. So it's funny that you bring up the pre presentation because, so, you know, I presented a couple of weeks ago, right? Like the sprint before. Mm hmm. The bug guy came that morning. Like, he was here during sprint review. Well. But I, like, and I was presenting, but I left a note on the door. He came in. He let me know when he was here. He did his thing. He left. Left the, like, the the thing on the door to let me know everything he did. And it worked out fine. Like, it was, it was, it was great. Um, yeah. Like. It, we. We honestly think that if I get a full work from home job, that once my car is paid off, like we might just like trade in both cars and get Chris a nicer car. Cause like, I don't like driving. Yeah. So, I, I know you don't. You've, you've, you've had some, you've had more than your share of, of driving, not fun times. Yeah. Like I don't want to lose the ability to. So like whatever car Chris gets has to be with it. Like he can't get like a, a pickup. I, no, something that has to like it something has, that's that that's that's that is, is. I have to be able to drive it in a pinch, but right, right. You know, but we might if I get a full work from home and he stays full remote, we might just go down to one car because 
okay, I want to go into the office for a day, I take the car. He wants to go into the office for your shenanigans. He takes the car. Like, yeah. whatever. Like. Yep. <laughs> it's not like. Or if we both need the car for whatever reason, I take her to work. I use the car for whatever I need to, and then I go pick her up. Or if something like really random happens, we we do this thing called rent a car. Like they they do that. They do, but boy, it's expensive right now. Sure, but like who boy is expensive right now? If if there was something like super like I don't know urgent, like Chris is driving up to Ohio and I need to go somewhere, like sure. okay, cool, sure. In that case, I think like that would be something that you would rent the car for him to, to take anyway, cause, so that you don't right. put that kind of wear and tear on your car. Right. Yeah. And then, uh, and... Especially because the discussion that we're having is, um, or that we have had, don't know if and when we would pull the trigger on that, but the, the idea of an electric vehicle has been batted around a little bit. Definitely yeah. don't want to take an electric vehicle all the way up north. Like No. Nope. Absolutely nope. not. Nope. Nope. No, that's so, that's a that's, local commute vehicle, at least for the range that those things have right now. Yeah, and and that is a garage vehicle for sure, especially with yes. what happened to Kristen. I mean, I know that wasn't close by, but still. So my soup this week started oh, with her car being stolen. Jesus Christ! Um, it oh, was. Wait, there's more. Oh, it, it gets worse. Her her boyfriend took it to his mom's house. And he was inside, and he doesn't know if he dropped the keys or if the keys like fell out of his pocket on the seat. He, he, he no longer has the keys, and the car is gone. Oh no. Um, it was a, a not great part of town, so they're not completely surprised, but it sucks. Um, but wait, there's more. Um, so the next day, that same boyfriend of hers finds out that one of his cousins, who was 19 was in a wreck and died and another one of his cousins who had adopted a kid which was the kids the, this kid is is three to four um was born with both of her parents in jail so was adopted by her boyfriend this my soup's boyfriend's aunt okay um the aunt then dies of throat cancer like nine months later so the cousin adopts the kid and um the car accident this cousin was in with this adopted kid the child is in a full body cast because they weren't in a car seat and the mother is suspected of dui so my soup is named to cps as the next possible placement she has three kids <laughs> so she's like well i'm cleaning my house oh and next week her house is getting tented for termites so she's just like i'm just very done with everything, she's like, I was worried about my car, and now with all these things with my boyfriend's family, like, that is lower on the totem pole. What? I'm just like, when your car being stolen is lower on the totem pole, life has thrown you plenty of curveballs at this point. Jesus Christ. You, uh, someone definitely needs a hug in life. Right? Yeah. Someone needs life to go fuck itself and give you a fucking break. That's for goddamn sure. Well, this is her third tenting in a year. Jesus. Like. And she just got this car last year, late last year, because she was, her car was broken down and had like major engine problems. And there's a whole thing where Ford basically made it worse. But then they said, well, we were, the dealership made it worse. But then they were like, well, we were trying to talk to Ford and blah, blah, blah. And it, it was a whole nightmare. So like part of her last car loan is rolled into this. Now, there is some bright lining that if the car doesn't get found, and if um, it, it doesn't get found in the insurance claim, because she, she does have gap insurance, she does have theft insurance, so the entire car loan should be wiped if if it doesn't turn up. I mean, that's that's good. Like, and that's you know, at least at that point, it's that kind of takes care of that and puts her in a better Scary position to get part, another car but jesus christ the insurance company is doing more than the cops because the cops that's basically they put it in a database and are like okay well if we see it we'll let you know but like they don't really look much like it's more of if it gets reported or gets pulled up they'll 
you know, that'll do. The insurance company's like, okay, well, we need all your phone records. We need your text records. We need to see where you called. We need the police report. We need to see who you called in what order. We're going to be interviewing everyone you called that day. Because I guess they're afraid she, like, traded the car off to someone and then now is just reporting it stolen to, like, I, I don't know. But the, the insurance company is, like, has this whole list of everything they're going to do and they're going to like interview everyone she talked to that day and go through all of her text and call records to make sure she called the police and you know it was just like kind of neat like they want a copy of her facebook post that she made um that she when she was you know letting people know like hey my car's stolen here's the tag number if you see it please let me know. They're like, we need a copy of the Facebook post. We need basically everything you've done to try and find this car. I'm like, so the insurance company is cracking down more than the cops are. Jesus Christ. I'm confused. I mean, I will keep my opinions on that to myself. I'm, I, I mean, I'm just, the... I'm not, I'm not shocked is that's what I'll say. No. The insurance company is worried about being out money. The cops aren't out money. Right. Right. So. Yeah. It, it, it unfortunately makes logical sense. It's just. It shouldn't. <laughs> it shouldn't make logical sense, but it unfortunately it does. It's just like, like yeah. the running joke is that the insurance company is going to ask for her firstborn and she would like to keep her firstborn. At this rate. Christ. Uh, yep. <sighs> well, at least I don't have that going on. So I got that going for mm. me, which is nice. Hopefully not a lot of people have that kind of... That level of... Bad going on in their lives. No. No. Hopefully not. Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes, Viv, I agree. I agree. Wholeheartedly. Tactics. Like Final Fantasy tactics? Mm. So how about the fact that they're making... In, well, they're not making a new, but they're uh, remastering Advance Wars. How about that, huh? Yeah, that's true. That's very true. I'm. My brain is confused because I've seen some of the old artwork for Advance Wars, and some part of my brain recognizes it, but I can't remember if I've actually played this game or not. I never played it, but it, like it always looked really fun to me, and I like, I kind of like that that turn-based strategy style. Um. It was made by the same people that did Fire Emblem, so like. As far as the Game Boy Advanced like art style goes, they're very, very similar. Okay. Except but one's tanks and military, and the other I one's. Not. Someone, yeah, I, I think I may have. I spend it for everyday hustling. Someone who. Coco, thank you, buddy. I love you. Kind of thing. It looks very familiar to me, but I don't know why. I feel like they also did a good job of translating Thank everything to uh, from the 2D artwork to 3D models. Like, just from what we were seeing in the gameplay, it looks really good. It does. Like a really good translation of it. I've never p played Fire Emblem. Never played if you like, I feel like if you liked Tactics or Advanced Wars or anything like that, I feel like you would like Fire Emblem. Yeah. Although some of them, some of the older ones are are mean. They've gotten better about that, though. What do you mean? Like, perma like difficult mean, and oh. some of the fire emblems come with permadeath for your units. I mean, all the older ones do, yeah. I mean, I've I've I I played the original Metroid, so this means nothing to me. Let me tell you, you start with thirty health. If you die, you're dead. And um, you, uh, the stuff that can hit you at the beginning hits you for like 10 to 15 hit points a pop. So you take two to three hits 
without getting health back, you're done. Yeah, these are different style of games. Like this one's sure. like numerically sure. just like you can <laughs> you can just get good and not get hit. Like in in Metroid. That's yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Have you, have you tried getting good, sir? I have not tried getting good, and I think that's part of the problem. Yeah, totally legit. Totally legit. I don't know if I've tried getting good. Mm, you should try it sometime. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I've heard it's difficult. Eh. I'm not very good at difficult things. I don't know. I got good ones, and if I can do it, anybody can do it. Chris, why don't I have a fence quote? I, I know. I'm just impatient you know listen i'm like i've been wearing this shirt a bunch since i got it and, and like i really like i really like it like with the, the the giant kidarino in the middle of it it's fantastic and ally pup got hers um Vifa, you hush. You're already good. You don't have to get good. Yeah, that's... Yeah, Vifa, you can't get good when you're already good. Like... So, no. You don't have the physical capability to get good. You've already... You're already there. It's done. You've gotten it. Like, you, you achieved it. You did it. Congratulations. Pack it in. Take a vacation. The good has been God. Go on holiday. You've, you've earned it, frankly. Ooh, yes. Wear your Captain Hopper shirt tomorrow. I gotta see if, uh, well, she. I guess she couldn't wear it tomorrow because she's got to go to work. But Sabrina got her her Captain Hopper's um, tank top, and it's it's really nice. And I got my my apron still. I still though like the hat. Like the hat is what really seals it for me. Like big fan of the hat. Viva is the goodest. It's true. God, we sure do love Viv around here. But then again, we also love you, Viv, so... Like, I don't know what to tell you. It's just kind of how it goes. <sighs> I wonder how long the hat can stay on before I have to take it off because the headphones are on my head funny. I will say it works out nicely because the, the headphone cups are circular, not oblong, so... Really, it's just the... Uh, the the headband that's weird because it's behind All me circular shit. you're oblong why is there a banana oh my goodness fortnite no oh the banana oh you went and looked at the store didn't you well yes yeah it is after eight o'clock there's there's nothing really great in the store tonight is there mm, i almost like the sunflower but that's mostly because of zombies on my lawn more than anything else that's true. If it was the sunflower? Yeah, if it was the su sunflower, I would have to get it. If it was the sunflower, yes. I would like I wouldn't mind seeing that, but e like I don't think it'll ever happen. I don't think I don't think Epic and EA would play that nicely. Mm. Things that Epic doesn't really play well with anyone at this point. I don't know. They play they play all right with Microsoft. They're using Microsoft in the uh, the the lawsuit as the example of how they can play nice. I don't know. Microsoft play, is playing, trying to play nice with everybody right now. Works for it's me. Because like everything runs on Azure and just people okay, don't know it. I, I kind of like it's the true. sexy chick outfits, but I don't think I like them enough to buy them. What the the color changey ones? Yeah. Yeah. I think I think Ali put bought all of that. That's I mean, very me, and I would one hundred percent use those occasionally, but I don't think I would use them enough to buy them. Yeah, they're uh, they're also music reactive. I think. Oh, don't tell me that. Yeah, yeah, you should look. You should check. Hold on. All right, you know what? Let's uh, let's go. Let's go check out the store. We'll have a nice, quiet checking out the store. Don't tell me that they change when music plays. Alright. I won't tell you. <laughs> He'll just show you. Yeah, I'll just show you. I won't tell you, though. No, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Hey. Hey, like, Viv. Yeah, Viv, no tell, her, tell her not to worry about it. It's fine. 
Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm trying to decide which one I like most. I can tell you, I'm pretty impressed with the music tonight. The music's nice. I still gotta look into that service that you told me about, though, Lollipop. Like, uh, I have the lo-fi one. Yeah. Yeah. See, Viv yeah. said, "Don't worry about it, Elena. It's fine. Don't worry about it." All right. So what we got the Golden Sands bundle, nice. which has Midsummer Midas. Oh, his hands are like there's gold going up his hands and stuff. Well, that's neat. See, but he's touching himself and not turning into gold. Well, yeah, but like, it's fine. But like, nothing. No, oh. that doesn't make any sense. Turn golden touch. Turn weapons gold when equipped. Tattoos become more golden with eliminations also. So he does change color. Yeah. Oh, he's he's not... Okay, He's his, his hands are balled up, so they're only touching the hands themselves, which are already gold. So he's like this. I mean, the... The edges of the palms are resting on the... I, I the think it's got to be fingertips. I'm calling fingertips on this one. Okay, I'll give you that if you've got the logic for it. I, I think it's fingertips. Because, like, if you walk by and, like, place your, like, hand on something, like, that's that's not usually a deliberate touch. Deliberate touch is usually fingertip. I... Okay, that, I will give you that. Oh, I look just... at that. Look. Oh, it changes. It changes. Oh, that's neat. Here, I'll, uh... Viv, I know you haven't met me, but I, I hope you understand how futile telling me not to worry is. Yeah, no, that's that's almost like telling me not to worry. Yeah, but you would turn the tongs to gold, and gold tongs wouldn't work as well because gold is such a soft, malleable metal that they just kind of, like, droop. So everything you tried to pick up with the golden tongs would be all droopy, and then you don't have control over it, and it's just like a whole thing. What if it's an alloy? What if it takes existing metals and alloys them? I don't know See? enough about how that would work to logic that one way or the other. I mean, the uh, the idea behind alloys is combining two metals to get the best properties of both. Sure. I just don't know anything about gold and alloys to know how well that would or wouldn't work, so I cannot comment on the feasibility of it. But, I mean, that can, also, that can I'm pretty sure, work. like, the curse didn't say everything you touch will turn into gold alloys. Well. Oh, that's... Well, a, FIFA maybe. makes an excellent point. What if it's iron tongs with plating? It doesn't... It doesn't... It doesn't... Oh, it... It goes through the whole... Because didn't he touch his kid and the whole kid turned to gold? I mean, Otherwise, you'd have, like, a fucking ton of organs in a gold shell. And that's definitely not how the story went. So what? I don't think that it being... Having a core separates it. It does the entire thing. But was it your now, kid? Now, you don't out. know. Here, here you don't we know his life. What if this... What if this is the child Midas of Midas and Aloy? Uh, uh, then, it be, then it would be gold alloys. I'd be okay with that. Okay, like... Yeah, I really don't think it would discriminate between layers. I'm with Viv on this one. Like, I don't think a core would work. Unless you could, like, somehow completely separate the core. Your face's core would work. I don't know what that means. But if there, if it's a core, it touches at some point. Like, unless you have like a floating core, but then you would still have some liquid between the two. Like, I don't. There's no way to like levitate a core that isn't touching the thing it's surrounded by. I don't think. But I'm not an engineer. Consumed by the storm, back for revenge. Oh. Well, that seems like some lore that I would like to know more about. Magnets. There you go. It's magnets because no one knows how it works. I'm I'm with you. That that makes sense to me. There's bolt. But if you turn the magnets into gold, then the magnets stop because gold is not magnetic. I don't think. Not with that attitude. Okay, the storm bolt harvesting tool is pretty neat looking. I like the like the the whooshies on the end of it. 
It looks like a, it kind of looks like a, like a, a welding torch. I have stopped hey, looking at magnets. harvesting tools since I got the marshmallow drummers. I mean, I'm, I'm basically really set like, on harvesting tools, so. I don't really like the two-handed harvesting tools in general. I love the two-handers. I feel like I swing better, even though I probably don't. But... You don't. It's all in Thanks. your head. Thanks for insulting my swinging things. Listen, you just like swinging both ways, which is why you do a wield. And but do you have gold you... magnets or do you just have gold lumps in the shape of magnets? Because if they are gold, I don't think gold is magnetic enough to be a magnet. Magnets aren't so you shapes. you just have a lump of gold. Magnets aren't shapes. Magnets are just... Yes. Magnets have a shape. Like, you should put, like, every magnet I've ever seen has been some sort of shape. Magnets don't have a specific shape, like magnets... Well, no, but I'm saying you, you now have a lump of gold that is in the shape of whatever shape that mag that magnet was oh, okay. in. Okay, all you right. The circle shape or the square shape or rectangle or whatever. It's the, the shape of what the magnet shape was. But Elena... But it's no longer a magnet. But Elena... She's too pink. But the wings. But the wings, though. <laughs> She's too pink, and I'm not buying a person for the wings. If I was going to buy anyone, it would be music reactive people, and I'm not buying them. Music, you're reactive people. Damn. Get wrecked, I guess? So, but yeah, I don't think you would have gold magnets, because otherwise have it would have been a King living gold child if it kept, like, some of the properties. So... Look, it's a reactive outfit. The patterns change when music plays. Stop it. Did you know that they change? Yes, I know. And when, that's, the mu when music yes, plays? I yes, I know. Yes, I know. I am aware. I am a bear. You are a bear. I am aware. A wear bear? No, no I not am a not an aware bear. bear. He... Is a bear where, but I am aware. He is an aware bear, but he is not a aware bear. Correct. Well, that's kind of neat. Oh, they call it back scratcher. Oh, I like that. That's neat. It's a back scratcher. Butt scratcher. Light knives. Oh, they're knives, but they're made of light? Or they have yes. light on them? Also, yes. Nightlight. All right, all right. Wear bear. No, there's no. No, it's. Can hmm. gold be magnetized by heat? It, I didn't know that. How long does it keep its magnetic property? Gotta get some of that hot gold. Oh, light shows pretty cool too. Oh man, look at his shin guards. Holy pop! Look at his shin guards. He's wearing shin guards like a like a boss. But. But does it matter how you heat up the gold? Because like, if we do some hot girl shit, will that will that heat up the gold enough? I mean, I, Viv, Viv, if we do if we do hot girl shit, can we heat the gold up enough? I mean, like you're the expert on the hot girl shit here, so DJ Bop. I kind of like the light pattern. That's neat. Wait a second, I want to see something. Ha, I knew it. I knew she had it. Oh, yeah. I've, I've seen her wear it. Oh, okay. She wears the uh, the chick without the head most of the time. Hey, Elena. Did you know uh, it's a reactive outfit? Did the patterns I... change when music plays? I was aware. Yes, you made me aware. Oh, Hidden is the expert on hot girl shit. Okay, well then, we need to, next time we talk to Hidden, we have to ask Hidden about this, so that we can we can we can come together, the greatest scientific minds in this community, to come together to determine if you do enough hot girl shit, will it heat gold up enough to magnetize it? These are very important questions. Let's see what else we got here. The glow stick is still here. The glow rider is still here. Oh, 
Oh, hi. Speaking of doing hot girl shit, Allie Pup's here. We were just talking about you and all of the stuff that you bought from the store. They were reminding me about the reactive outfits. See, that's what we were talking about. We were we were talking about hidden. The glow sticks. That's a lot. Hidden is the like hot girl sticks. shit girl. Okay. Got it. That makes sense. Just bust a move. Whoa. Yeah, okay. Let's see. This stuff is still here. Starry Flight is pretty cool. I will say that's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Uh, oh, and then there's the slurp pattern. All right, that's that's all right. That's that works. Then we got we got some cow pokes. Desperado. Oh, he's even got his little dog tags there. Nice. It, okay, it, am I am I am I crazy or does he look a little bit like Ludacris? Like a little bit, right? And... I'm now trying to rewind my brain back to high school and remember what the hell Ludacris looks like. I mean, use the Google box. <sighs> he looks a little like Ludacris to me. I mean, just a little bit. See, okay, a little bit. I mean, a little. A little. If you Disneyfied Ludacris and made him a cowboy. Okay, well, yeah, that's but that's exactly what this is. It's Fortnite, so it's going to have like that look to it. That's why I said it looks like Ludacris if you Disneyfied him and made him a cowboy. Frontier looks just like he's he's looks like he looks like a a a alternate universe Jonesy. The detonator's pretty nice though. It's pretty cool. Let's see. And then there's Rustler. Derpy Jonesy. Yes, he looks like a Derpy Jonesy. It's a Derpy Jonesy. No, it's to me. Your face is not a Derpy Jonesy. I mean, it kind of is. Oh, where's my fence quote? Oh my god, you'll get your fence quote tomorrow. They said tonight. Well, I want it. <laughs> but I want it's, a plan. But it's your fence quote How and you want it now. How can I plan if I don't have the fence quote to plan with? 877 quote now. All right, let's see what's now. The spurred swinger. A G Quotworth. <laughs> Call J G Whitworth. Eight seven seven cash no. Eight seven seven cash no. I'm more just worried that it's gonna go in my spam while I don't remember it. Let's see. We looked at. Hello. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, hi. Did we summon you with into voice with the J G Wentworth? No. Oh, okay, that's fair. But could we have? Uh, I mean, maybe. Lollipop, look, it's a gold digger. Do you get it? And... Is it because it's a hoe? Yeah. You're a, you're a hoe. Use a hoe. Speaking of ludicrous. Use a hoe. And everything oh. comes full circle. The crop duster. Use a hoe. Ho! Okay, that's... Like, I know there are some weird combinations, but seeing Cobb with the identity disc on his back... Fucking that's, weird. That's fucking weird. Like, even Sunflower looks... Speaking of hidden and doing hot girl shit, her I'm signature look... I'm so happy look, I got that for her and she still uses it. That makes me so happy. She's a sweet hidden. He is. I'm I'm sad that, that, that uh, Costco is kicking her ass so much that, like, uh, we don't ever see her. I know. I miss her. I know, me too. Welcome to Costco. I love, love you. you. Let's see. Sunshine and rainbows. Oh, My she's girl right there. She's even got her... She's even got a farting llama. Look, it's farting. I fucking love her. Yeah, this has your name written all over it. All of the, like, 80s rainbow bright-esque shit, that's yeah. so fucking me. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, 
the bright stars weapon skin like look at that all of the like seriously all, i'm an 80s kid through and through i know you are king flamingo <laughs> payload <laughs> payload the lawn breaker I showed this to Sabrina. This this may be the thing. Like between that and the sunflower stuff, this may be what convinces her to start playing Fortnite. I oh, feel really? like you need I feel like you need that. The the flamingo? Yes. No, I'll never use this. Why do I need it? If you, if you get Sabrina to play, you guys can have Flamingo Wars. No, I already have Flamingo Wars in this house. You watched Monday's stream. You were here with me. And when you saw that I got attacked by a flamingo. And I, I still hold to that you might need it because you might need more flamingo wars. Oh my god. Pizza. Pizza and ice cream and ice cream scoops. The ice cream scoops are adorable. Yeah. Yeah, I totally Rip. didn't already buy that. Mm -mm, nope. No, nope. you wouldn't. Nope. You would never. Mm -mm, nope, not me. Let's see this. Alley pup? Buy things? On the <laughs> no. Shop? That's impossible. Mm -hmm. Right. She me spend money? Everything. That's impossible. Yeah, that's why. That's why you can't buy me shit. Is because I already own it all. Yeah, that's Sabrina has that problem with me. Did I tell you about the time I ruined uh, Christmas one year? Like, I don't know, like th three years ago, two three years ago. Yeah, I I I kind of ruined it because um. So she, uh, maybe it was like three or four years ago. Regardless, she, um, Nintendo made a special Metroid Edition 3DS. And in typical fashion, on day one, it sold out. Right. She was able to get one. Uh, Tom helped her out. Tom, she's like, hey, is this something he would like? Tom's like, I don't know that there is a more perfect Nintendo product for him to own, which, not wrong. So she pre-ordered it, like, everything was great. And so... The improbable happened, and it came back in stock later. So I was going to go buy it. And Sabrina kept trying to convince me that, no, I don't need to do it right now. I need to save money. I need to pay off stuff, which she was right, but also Metroid 3DS. So I was about to go and buy it from the Target. And she's like, she's like, it'll fucking be here on Friday. I'm like, what? And she's like, it'll be here on fucking Friday. And this is like in September, and she wanted to save it for Christmas. And so she was really pissed because I, I inadvertently ruined it, the surprise, because I was just going to go buy it because if I want something, I'll just go buy it. And I just, it, it again, because it just happened to come back in stock, which typically those things don't. Like, you all remember when the, the special edition, like, like the, the black and gold, what was it for Ocarina of Time 3D came out? Those special edition 3DSs, like, those were gone, and then they were gone forever. Because, like, they couldn't keep them in stock. You mean the gold one that Chris has sitting in his closet somewhere? Yes, that one. Mm, no, I don't have, I don't think I have that one, but I do have the link between Worlds 3DS XL, and I do have the Majora's Mask new 3DS XL, or whatever. That's... And the Wii U that I randomly brought home because it was the Zelda special edition. That too, yeah. Oh, it was, See, in it was our the household... 25th anniversary one. It was, it was this one. This is the one I was thinking of. Thought you had that one. I don't remember anymore. That one. That one's pretty. If I, if I so pretty. did, I don't have it anymore. Yeah. Okay, the hat's got to come household? off. See, in our household. Um, let's see, our, our household, we kind of get away with, like, if, if someone's like, I, I want to buy this thing, I really want to get this thing, mm -hmm. we can then just really turn around and be like, no, no, don't do that. Just just don't do that. 
just just trust me don't do that yeah and then we'll completely forget that conversation like we can almost completely spell it out and then we'll forget so we get away with it you also have a dog i i know I I don't. I, I don't. We forget. also we also like have rules that like around September and on we don't buy anything large for ourselves without like clearly asking permission because we know that my my love language is gifts and Christmas is a thing. Yeah. So, like, if something comes up, like, for major sale and it's, a, like, more of a need than a want, Chris will be like, I'm good to pick up X, right? And I'll be like, yeah, that's, you're fine. Sure. Sure. Hmm. God damn you, a foes. Quit trying to I'm pick like me I'm, like, the opposite up. of you. I say I want like eight dozen things and then never buy myself them. I I don't want anyone to buy me anything ever, and it it gives me anxiety when people do. I it know. isn't so much that I get anxiety when people get me stuff. It's just like I I'm I've like I'm an only child. I I, I inherited money from my dad almost you know, like 14 years ago. And I have just gotten in the habit of getting myself what I want. And so I do. Yeah. Love language is gifts, so I'm like the opposite of you, Zunder. Like, and I get it. And I try not to trot on it too much, except for with craisins. But at least craisins are consumable. My, my love language is giving gifts. I'm, I'm horrible at receiving them. But, frankly, I am the best at giving them. I um, speak both. I, I, I like can't it. do receiving. Like, it's, 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 it's extremely difficult for me. I, I struggle with that. Like, I'm, I'm more about small gestures. Um, like, See, like I, little I, gestures I'll... are the things that I, I really enjoy getting. See, I struggle a little bit receiving but it, it it's it's more like anxiety that i'm showing it right like deep down i'm all like oh a thing so yeah yeah sydney i'm the same way i like i don't know what to do like i'm just like thank you i don't know oh first you're like no don't also, no his first reaction is stop that yes that's correct it is stop that that is absolutely correct. i forgot <laughs> that the more recent craisins i had ordered them because it was like some ridiculous lead time oh, and then they changed when they were gonna arrive and so he just messages me also stop that and i'm like and she had no what, what? And she had no context because it had been so long <laughs> Right. Well, it was supposed to have been like two, two and a half months, and ended up only being like a month. But either way, it was. I, I yeah. was like, if I spent the money more than a week ago, the money no longer exists to me, and I completely forgot that I did the thing. Yeah. yeah me too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. No. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, well, yeah. that's because that's because she loves you and she just wants you to be happy. And frankly, it it was a little like the tiniest bit selfish too, because it, not tiny, not tiny. I'm trying to give you a little bit of like leeway here. Can you just let me? No, finish? I'm trying to make him. I'm trying to make him feel better and like s stop. You know, trying to like push back on it. You know, because. Anyway, it was it was for her because if you have headphones that work, then she gets to talk to you more often. That's how that works. And you're By her husband. So. To you. And I love your face. She but, does, it's true. So, I think we all do but though. But all those things you just said to Viv are the reason people get you gifts. Mm -hmm. I I understand mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I understand mm-hmm. that, but I also have my own issues with receiving gifts. So, so does Viv. <laughs> so, like, he has his own issues receiving gifts, but it's also why he does accept them sometimes. You, you gotta, you gotta walk the line with it. You gotta walk the line with it. I don't know what lines are. I'm really bad at lines unless people spell them out and make them really fucking clear for me. Okay, hold on, hold on. I want you to... Okay. Ally Pup, you said you don't know what lines are? Yeah. Okay. Do me a favor. I want you to look down... Look under your desk real quick for me, okay? All right. Mm-hmm. You see where your feet are right there? No. Okay. Put your feet out a little bit so that you can see them. <laughs> My feet are underneath me. Okay, you, you kick your, kick your feet out for just a second so that you can see where you see your feet. Okay. Huh. Okay. Now look at the very end of your feet, like the far end of your feet. See where your toes are. Huh. Now look just underneath that. That's where the line is. Because you like to toe the fucking line. <laughs> nice. Only, only when you make her kick her feet out, though, because if she kicked her feet out that means her feet are more forward than they normally are so she's not really usually as close to the line as you're claiming hey hey boom. listen boom he got you you know what you know what just for that just for that you can deal with everything in refinement tomorrow and also and also oh, you can go shit. to change control you act like i wasn't gonna have to anyway <laughs> i mean whatever yeah, you're taking off to like cover That's... windows 11 or whatever yeah yeah i sure am Cause someone loves Microsoft more than they love me. Someone's <laughs> abandoning Lollipop. I mean, I mean, have you have you have you met him? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. He, he loves Microsoft more than he loves most things, and I'm people. pretty sure he loves Microsoft more than he loves himself. I'm sorry. I just I. <laughs> yeah, I've... but that's not saying much because I feel like Xander doesn't love himself enough. Well, possibly, but. That's also, you know, I'm totally not he talking from personal Microsoft experience. That's more than craisins. That's that's a that's that's a different that's a different thing altogether. You see. Well, it is therapy night, so we can discuss. Yeah, we don't have that much time. All right, we can start. Ooh, ooh, Viv, I want to go get go get your din dins and and tell me what tell us what when you, you come got. Back, tell us what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah din dins. Mm. Oh my god. Okay. Now listen. Um, so if you're not in the Discord. Get in the Discord, but um Oh by the way, when can I when when can I move in, me and the dogs? You wanna move in here? Yeah, because that looked amazing. Oh, you you want me to cook you want me to cook for you? Yeah. That's fine. Listen, um there's we're I want I want everybody to like I want all of I want all of the Twitch folks to come over for the next Nomster Jam. So like that means I want you over here. I want Tab and her husbando here. I want Viv and Vifa. I want Mo it and is. her husband Chris. Oh, and Mo also has to bring both Wedginald and Bubba. Um, oh, of course. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Gibbs can come. I mean, everybody can come. Like Gibbs would have to bring Fids and also at least one of the cats, but probably both of them. Probably, yeah, yeah. Now Sabrina will be dead by the end of the day from all of the the animals, right. but also she will die happy because Bubba will be here. All of the animals. Yeah, that too. Um, we'll have to um, we'll have to make a pit stop to uh, come over here and see Elliot because Elliot 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 goes to nobody. No, he goes where he wants to go. But I went to him, and it was it was a life altering oh experience. You know, you know, uh, you might actually lose out on me to them because Elliot. But then I will cook you steak. Take all of the purple in our you in can our house. You Elliot while your steak is like okay. being prepared and marinating, and then you can go over for your steak. That's true. Eat your That's steak. True. Eat yeah, your steak, you... and then sit in the very, very purple room mm. with Elliot. And can confirm, room is extremely purple. Can mm. confirm. Uh, it's not purple enough. I haven't painted it, but I, I don't want to. I want I want it painted, but I don't want to be the one to paint it's it. It's not purple enough for you, but you have to admit it is still extremely purple, even as it is now. It's not painted. Well, the walls. 
I would say, well, the walls are white and all of the lighting in the room is purple, except for the overhead light that's so barely ever on. The walls are still white and I don't have like glow in the dark stars or anything on the ceiling. The, the room is distinctly not purple enough. I, uh, I, I have a, my bedroom in this house. Well, my former bedroom in this house is purple, which is now where Snuggy broadcasts from. So, yeah. Oh, Snuggy. Our master bedroom is purple. The fucking Snuggy in but... his face. Fucking want... This fucking house doesn't have a master bedroom because it's too goddamn small. Because it's too goddamn old. You're too goddamn our favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Um, got me. Same, yeah. Fucking got you. Yeah. Uh. Um. Another relic completed. Hey, how much do I want to code right now? You don't. Well, you because say that. Because we're talking about burnout management. No, this is good. This is this is good coding. Yes, this fun but, coding. Yeah, this is fun coding. The, does that also add to burnout when it's not fun coding? No, this co this actually helps counteract it. This is what keeps coding okay for me. Okay, then yes, you want to code. So I was thinking about it, and like I have. I have this Discord link, but like, it's just like a, it's you know your typical Discord.gg slash. Um, yeah. So uh -huh. why not? I always Merlock when I use Discord link. So why not? I took my freaking kidney. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Charlie. <laughs> oh. Charlie. It's Candy a magical Charlie. Charlie, we're going to Candy Mountain, Charlie. Candy it, Mountain. It's a magical Leoplaridon, Charlie. <laughs> Shun the non believer. Shun. Oh. Shun. Oh. Well, that devolved quickly. <laughs> I'm, I'm closing out of Fortnite. I, I'm, I'm, we we have scared nope. her away from Fortnite. One of my one of my best friends when I was getting into gaming after college was a uh, um name. Well, his name is Charlie, and uh, yeah, we we ruined that for him very quickly. Yeah. Okay, so there's the Discord link, so we'll we'll create that. And then I also need a I need a blank index.html. Uh actually, I just need an empty one. So I mean, I'm 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 in the top 2 um on a solo. I'm a little bit terrified. Yeah. Yeah, but like you're amazing, so don't worry about it. Like, if you nothing are. else, you'll finish second out of a hundred people. That's 98th percentile. That means you're a bad motherfucker. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave this the way it is. I can just make the blank one. one. Sorry. Yay! Okay, so let's go. Now we're going to the Azure portal. I'll sign in with my Zunderscore account. Now we're going to create a new static web app. And we're going to go create. Y'all are good luck, apparently. It's because we love you so much, you see. I love you, too. Okay. This is free. This will go in East US 2. See, it's built around GitHub. Like, you can do GitHub or other which means you basically have to do it all manually or if you do it this way uh, review and create create okay the thing that sucks about where we are uh, currently hosting Elon's site is uh Is Jesus. that I had to sneeze. Is that you had to sneeze? But, Bless you, by the way. Thank you. Um, it will integrate with GitHub, mm -hmm. and it will it will pull a branch 
whenever I push to it and it'll do all of that, but it won't build the angular. Ah. Uh. So I have to manually build the angular anyway. That's a problem. Yeah. Oh, I need. And when I uh, when I opened a ticket to get them to try and fix it, they were like, "This would affect everybody, so we're not gonna do that." And I was like, "So you don't want to compile Angular for anybody?" Like, why okay. wouldn't you want to do that? Where in the hell is? Okay, what category is DNS under? If it's not under networking and it's not under other. It is internet networking. Well, why didn't it show? Okay, that, like, like, two thirds of the shit wasn't here a second ago. Oh, it's because I was sitting on it. My bad. <sighs> like, can you just not? Agreeable water. I too like agreeable water. All right, so let's add a new record here, and we're gonna go. Discord dot. It's underscore dot TV. Okay. And we're going to do a C name and we're going to alias this to the new resource, which is Discord's underscore TV. And with a time to live of an hour. And okay, that's done. So now we'll come over here. We'll add the custom domain. So Discord dot underscore dot TV. Next. We'll validate it. And it's new, so it hasn't checked. So it looks like it's found it. It's doing its thing. And it's making the magic happen. Static web apps as redirects is my new favorite fucking thing. Like, I just want a thousand of these, and they're all free. I don't have to pay a goddamn dime for them. It's fantastic. Uh, You're fantastic. Your face is fantastic. Ooh. Yeah, it's true. I've seen your face. Like, several times, in fact. Can confirm. Mm -hmm. Great face. Have you, though? Yeah, I have. I sure have. Hold on, hold on. I can can confirm have seen your face, and this is how, I ha how, I, how you know I have. That's how you know I have. Yeah, you've seen his face. See? See? Elena can confirm. If anyone aside from you can can confirm, in fact, I think she would be able to confirm more because she probably sees your face more than you do. Just, I'm just saying. I'm mocking him at him. Yeah. I just mocked me back at her. It's fine. <laughs> Oh, I made a fresh batch of tea late this afternoon before I made dinner and just mm, like not to brag, but I make really good sweet tea, but it's like making sweet tea is like baking. Okay. Like cooking, cooking, you can futz with baking. You can't baking is an exact science and art form. And so is making su uh, good sweet tea. Oh, uh, what? No, N no to what? The amount of vanilla I dump in half of my baked goods is not anywhere near the exact recipe. That's that's part of the art form part of it. But other oh, okay. you have to you, you okay. Flavorings flavorings can change, but your basic things like your dry versus your wet ingredients, your ratios, how you mix, like those things have to be done precisely or things do not turn out the way that they're supposed to. Okay, I'll give you that. It just there are there are Futsable parts of baking. There, everyone's like, you can't futz with baking, and I'm like, oh, I futz with baking can, all the fucking time. You can futz with flavors. 
You can futz with flavors. You, you can futz with mix-ins. You can futz with substitutions. You can. You there are quite a few different ways to futz, especially the more you know. But substitutions, in most cases, still have to be exact, based on what you're substituting. Eh. There, there are multiple ways to get to where you're going. I mean, the, sure. I'm not saying there's only one way to get there, but I'm saying like to get there, everything has to be in place in a certain way. Otherwise, I mean, you're not I, getting to where you wanted to go. I promise you, I am not not precise with my measurements, and stuff still tastes good. So, my point is, <laughs> making sweet tea. Uh, there's there's a specific science to it. I use Louisiana tea, um, and that's uh, like the Lipton just doesn't taste it. It tastes different to me, um, so I use I use Louisiana tea. Um, I use two of the family size tea bags in a medium uh, sauce pot saucepan. Um, I let it go to a gentle boil for several minutes, um, and that gives it a chance to reduce a little bit to concentrate the flavor more. Um, then what I do is I take my, I have a very specific, I have a specific pitcher that I use and I got to the point where the old one was so stained. It wasn't like dirty. It was just stained from having used it for years, making tea in it that Sabrina's like, you need to get a new pitcher. And I'm like, okay. So I had to go find the exact same pitcher. So I have two of the same pitcher and we were going through stuff the other day and she like the other one was out and she looks and she's like, wait a second. Because she saw the one, the, the newer one on the one side of the counter, and then the old one on the other side. She's like, that's the old pitcher. She's like, I thought you threw that away. I'm like, I told you I wasn't throwing that away. I'm keeping that pitcher. That pitcher is has sentimental value, and it's a perfect backup pitcher because it's clean. It's just stained from years of tea. So By the way, I, I, was, I was responding, and I just realized that um, I was muted. Oh... Uh, yeah, don't do that. Uh, so, so the the only way that that new things are created is, is by people futzing with things. I am, I no, I I understand that, but again, like to get intended to get intended results with baking, you have to be far more precise than you do with regular cooking. And I will also say that I, I can agree as someone who likes her routine and who likes her same things and buys the same purse like four times in a row before she completely switches things. I can, I can see where Zunder probably likes his sweet tea, the sweet tea way. And this is the correct way. And the other ways are not correct ways for Zunder. I'm I'm just, well, yeah, okay, they may not be the correct ways for you, but th there's no one two way. There's your way for you, but it may not be somebody else's way for them. Well, that's why he's not shoving it down their throat. Just no, I'm not. Uh, no, no, I know. <laughs> All the tea goes down his throat, I think. Wait for it. Okay. Discord.zunderscore.tv. Ready? <sighs> Boom. And it's live. Sunder, I have an important question. Sure. If I strangle Lockhart, are you going to be okay with that? Nope. No. Nope. If you if you strangle Please. him, if you strangle him, then you have to go to every meeting with our team, and you have to deal with all the consequences. No. Nope. I don't work there. I don't care. I don't <laughs> care. They won't let me in. Oh, I'll make sure they let you in. <laughs> Like I, I, it's fine. You have the same last name as me, and they all call me Lockhart anyway. You'll fit in just fine. Yeah, no, they, they, they aren't gonna let me in. So I mean, if I strangle him, I'm not going to these meetings because I don't work there, and they won't let me in. Are you gonna be okay with that though? No, you'll still be there. Let, let me just say he deserves it. That's really <laughs> all I, I, I feel like I can say right now. Allegedly, it's 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 sort of Allie's fault. It's you didn't do anything. I you mean, didn't. No, it's not your fault. But you you gave him a, a path to which he. <laughs> how how it's it's like it's like when you call customer service for like some company like your ISP or whoever's being shitty, and you get the rep on the phone. It's not their fault, but it is now their problem. <laughs> hmm. Um. <sighs> 
I feel like I'm gonna strangle him tonight. You. And I feel like you're gonna have to be okay with that. Right. Wait, do you feel like chicken tonight? Like chicken tonight? Some chicken uh, tonight. Talk it. Talk about throwing back. We did have right? popcorn chicken. Oh my god. All right, let's see. We did see. have popcorn chicken for food tonight. Mmm, popcorn chicken. Strangling puts it on me, but I don't work there. I've tried. I've applied twice, but I don't work there, so I can't log in. All right, where's my effect Even though list? I probably know like some of his passwords. But probably not to work passwords. If you, well, you know what's fun? While I was napping, my fucking dogs got into my trash. Oh, and had, like my my left my 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 Taco Bell that I didn't finish. Ugh. Yeah. Super happy about that. Super super duper happy. Okay. All right. We so... had to get like specific trash cans for our cats. Oh, not I, for our I have... dog, but for our cats. Okay, that's some, more to save the bags. Some somebody in chat do exclamation point Discord and see if it has the new link. Cause I want to see. Yes, yes. I might take the uh, I might take the trailing slash off of it since apparently Twitch doesn't know how the fuck to deal with trailing slashes on URLs. Cause apparently that's fucking new. I mean, Trailer it is slash. Twitch we're talking about here. Yeah, they keep fucking up chat. Like with when they fucked up slash me. Uh, well, you shouldn't slash yourself. What if I want to? It's my stream. I should. But, I should be able to slash I'm myself sure if I want to. But, 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 you should, but you yourself. shouldn't. Like I'm pretty sure it's against toss to slash yourself. But what if I want one of, like one of those cool like scar things like right here? I, I still think it's against toss. Slash or no slashing. <laughs> Oh man! Why are sleeping? Okay, so did the did you did you click the link? Did it work? I'm already in your Discord. I know, but it should pop you in back into the Discord. I'm already in your Discord. Uh, yes, it welcomed me to the Thunderdome. Okay, that's all I wanted to know that it worked. Okay, well, thank you. I appreciate that. That Q has been aid. Th see, that's all I need. You're a. Oh my. Roll A your Q. Oh Five. my! Wait, but don't but don't A to Q. Oh, no. oh my! Distinctly not. Definitely not A to Q. Uh. D dare I ask what the Q is in this scenario? No. Probably not. No. If you if you gotta ask, you, don't... you can't afford it. So you get pink eye. <laughs> That is indeed. Oof. Ah. Ooh. Nobody wants pink eye. Mm -mm. Nobody wants that. Mm -mm. Uh. 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 Okay. So. Freeze? So we we coded on stream tonight. So. You, you coded on stream tonight. You listen. We are all along for this ride. <laughs> We're all on the same team the, here. The royal. The royal we. The royal oh, okay. we. As long as it's the royal we. Yeah, it's fine. I just want to make sure Zunder is taking credit for his own achievements. No, we're a team. We we all we all celebrate the successes and deal with the failures. Is that as how a that team, works? As a squad. Yeah. Is that how that works? But I thought we needed to have a whole continuous improvement brouhaha over the best possible kind of failure. Shark bait. Ooh, ha, ha. <sighs> Shark bait. Poop. Oh, wait a oh. Ice bear needs it for everyday hustling. <gasps> Mo, Mo, you precious angel baby. We were talking about you earlier and how much of a precious angel baby you are and how much we love you and and I love you the most. And Wedginald. Oh, God. The Wedginald. Yeah, he, he was like the sweetest angel baby. And I was like, so Mo or Wedge? And he's like, por que no lo dos? It's true. It's Por true. No los dos, yeah. Yeah, like we were. It, it's true. Like before stream, I'm like, oh, what a sweet, precious angel baby. And she, she legitimately thought I was talking about Wedginald at first. I'm like, I mean, no, but also yes. Like because Wedginald, like who doesn't love Wedginald? I'll tell you who doesn't love Monsters. Wedginald. Monsters and wrong people. <laughs> and maybe Mara when she's beating him up. I don't think... No. It's just sport. It's fine. Yeah, it's... 
She's just keeping him on his toes, you see. But they're always on their toes. Listen, it's it's a tough life but for her, you know. Their toes are part of their feet. Oh, they're on their beans. They're on their beans. Which are part of their toes. And get beans. out from under my toes. Beans. Are... Beans. Beans. I'm just going to do that from now Chris, on. I think you might need to take care of your uh, your dog. Beans. No, he, he, he moved. He, he, he... Bowser is well aware of my distaste for certain oh. things. Oh. All I have to do is kind of like look at him. Oh, Mo regard Craftington. You know that I love this picture of him so much. Oh my God! Look, look at this boy. Oh my God! Aww. Look at the baby. Oh. What the absolute sweetest boy in the whole world. You just you just don't know what you want to do first. Do you want to go boop that snoot or do you want to want to go touch the paw pads with the one finger and watch his paw just wrap around your little finger? I know what you do first. When you see a floof, you do two things. One, move to the floof. Two, boop the floof. Boop the snoot. Oh, God, he's just the sweetest, prettiest boy. He's so handsome. Oh my god, I love him so much. He's just so sweet and amazing and oh, he's just such a good boy. Like I tell you, like 80% of the time when I get a Mo DM in Discord, like I'm always excited cuz 80% of the time it's Wedginald and I'm just like <sighs> Like, he gets me, you know? Like, he, he understands me. Well, of course he's your therapy animal. He's Sir Doctor... What is it? What is it? Sir... Sir Doctor Chef Weginald Antilles the Third, PhD MD Esquire. Did I get it right? Yes. Or Sir Chef Doctor. Sir Chef Doctor. Sir Chef Doctor oh. Weginald Antilles the Third, P. PhD MD Esquire. Yes. Yes. Aha. Or MD PhD. Damn it. I was so close. Moral of so the story. Close. Weginald is how you prevent burnout. That's that's a good point. I had all the pieces. I just I did like link them together in the right order. I was close. I was very close. Mm -hmm. Very, very close. And that's that's what's important. It's it's having all the pieces there. Oh, mm -hmm. he's such a good boy. God, he's such a sweet boy. Uh, Mo, you missed it earlier. I was coding. <laughs> I was coding mm -hmm. to make my Discord link easier. Mm. <laughs> you can see the fruits of his labor, though. That's true. Right there. Right there. Yeah. So my, my Discord link is easier now. Because, like, mm, sure. We've been talking about burnout and ways that we can prevent burnout and how I prevent burnout, especially my coding burnout, which is very sad to me because I love to code and I'm burnout from doing it as a job, um, is doing, trying to do little code projects on the side, especially lately that help me like get reinvigorated and, and still, you know, remind myself that code stuff can be fun. So I very quickly just set up the discord.zunderscore.tv link with um, Azure Static websites or Azure Static web apps. Anyway, it's yeah, it was it was fun times. Your face is fun times. A fun time, your face. So my <laughs> <laughs> don't threaten his face with a good time. Um, Why not? so here I'll I'll shit I'm I don't care I'll sh I'll show you what I'm. What I'm paying for Azure. So for my personal stuff, um, and it's it's going to change now, but I have everything under the Zunderscore.com subscription, which includes all my Zunderscore.tv stuff. Um, so I've got my my usual bill is between eleven and twelve dollars a month, and that's because I had the one website Zunderscore.com and like a couple of other things that were under it, but it was all running off of the same one web app. Um, some DNS, a tiny bit of storage, which I wasn't really using, I don't really use very much anyway. Um, that's just for like the Azure Cloud Shell stuff. A little bit of SQL database, which I use even less of. 
and like no bandwidth cost because I'm I don't have a lot going in and out. So this is actually going to go down dramatically this coming month um, because I moved all of my stuff off of WordPress. Um, I am doing a static, statically generated site now. So um, when I build my when I make a change to my website, my main website, um, which is underscore.com. This is just HTML. This is just HTML and CSS. There's no like backend processing to generate the page at runtime or anything like that. This is literally just grabbing like an index.html. Like I'll even show you just to, to prove that it's real. It's index.html, that's it. Um, so the, pr the pre-processing is done at build time, so I don't have to worry about that. The static website is free. Um, and you can have up to two custom domains for it. So it's underscore.com and www in this case, both go to the same place. So I can www and same thing. Um, but it's um, like, that's gonna take care of like nine of the 12, nine to 10 of the $12 that I was spending a month. I'm gonna use that money elsewhere um, cause I do pay as you go. So I'm going to, to as far as like the budget for it, like, I don't want to spend more than like 15, 20 bucks on my personal stuff. Um, so I'm setting, I'm trying to set up now, um, uh, Azure, uh, functions for doing link shortening, like bitly links, but on my own custom domain, it's not going to work exactly the way I want it to, but We'll make it work. We'll figure it out. And then you'll hate it later and you'll iterate on it. Actually, the thing that I was worried about earlier, I actually got working. Um, the domains I pay, um, I pay for the, the, the domain. So like the underscore.com, you just have to, you pay for the root domain. I have it registered somewhere else. Um, it's, I, I register at Namecheap. Um, so my domains there are anywhere from like 10 to 20 bucks a year, depending on what it is, whether it's like a .com, .co, .tv, whatever. Uh, no, and you won't hate it. Like the service itself I love. What I actually build, the stuff that I personally build, I usually hate after a short period of time. But this, this I'm actually like not even, I, I don't even hate it. Hold on, let me... Yeah. My running joke with Zunder is that anything he builds is just, a, it's just a ticking time bomb until he hates it. Yeah, so there's the... In which case he builds it again, and then he hates it again. So like and the multi-stream the here. Thunder. The multi-stream that we typically do with Alleypup. Um, hey. That's, that's, that's Alleypup. She's, she's up there on the, the thing, you see. Hey, Ellie, you're offline. What? I know. Hey, Ellie, you're not streaming. It's almost should, like I she's not... I should work on that. Um... But the service is fantastic. Like I love Azure. Like all the underpinnings of it, all the services that they provide. Love it. Love it. The only problems that I have is with the stuff that I build. There are little things here and there that I find, but like I get really detail oriented about and specific about how I want to do things. And sometimes on the no. the, the lower or the free tiers, you, you don't get to do as much. You detail oriented and specific. Oh, I yeah. Don't, don't you roll your eyes at me? I didn't stop, roll my stop eyes. Stop lying, at you. Zunder. Yeah, listen, also, also, hi, Pot. I'm sorry, my, I thought they were going to come out of your head. Hi, Pot. My name's Kettle. Nice to meet you. Um, anyway, um, so like the multi stream. Who are, you, who are you calling Kettle? I don't know. Pick one. You're both detail okay, oriented. Clearly, Lollipop. No, clearly, what? Lollipop. You leave him out of this. Anyway, so I mean that's who I'm picking. You told me to pick one. So the multi-stream um, is a it's a static app. This is again just an HTML page with stuff embedded on it. Um, I don't pay anything for this. The only thing I pay for is underscore dot TV, the like the 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 domain that it all falls under. Um, but like all the services, if we look at my, let's see, where's the group? Uh, right here. Groups. What do you mean? You're not a group. Rude? 
So it's underscore.tv, the YouTube, the multi-stream site, and the Discord redirect. Those all, um, those are all um, free. Those are all free static web apps. So these cost me nothing. Um, on my main one, devs underscore.com, zunderscore.com, store.zunderscore.tv. Oh, that needs to move over. That needs to go over to... Um, It's another R R G that goes to okay. Um, but anyway, those sites. That's and let's go back here so you can see it. Uh, so like the dev, underscore dot com, store dot underscore dot tv. Those are free. The SQL database costs me basically nothing because I'm not using hardly any storage. It comes with like two gigs of SQL storage. Um, it's also serverless, so it only spins up as I need it. Um, and most of what's in there is the Nomster Jam database, which is for Nomster Jam, which is for NomsterJam.com, which just redirects to the free nomsterjam.azurewebsites.net, which it's spinning up now because it's free. And there it is. That's the, uh, that's the, um, uh, my, my barbecue thing and exclamation point Nomster Jam. Nomster Jam. There you go. Um, so this is on the free tier, so I, I don't get a custom domain. It just gets filed under the, like, the .azurewebsites.net, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, like most of this stuff that I have in here is free. Like my DNS stuff that I have in here, I pay a little bit each month for. Like, like maybe like 50, 60 cents. I don't know. Let me go see. How much is DNS? Pricing... Uh, let me go to the calculator. You're an asshole, Panda, just so you know. Dang. What'd she do? She got out of my trash. Oh, yeah, that. I hear her chewing on shit that I didn't get yet. Because yeah. I didn't know she had stuff still. It's so like three DNS zones because I have the three domains. Um, zunderscore.com, zunderscore.tv, and zunder, zunder.co, which is the short link service or where that's going to live. Um, that all like, like even five million DNS queries. That's only going to cost me like three fifty a month. So the DNS is cheap too, and it's Microsoft's DNS. So like, what? You mm. like Microsoft? I know it's this new thing I'm trying. But anyway, my Azure stuff is cheap. Proud of you for uh, proud of you for branching out. Thanks. So yeah, I would need to very first thing I would need to do is I would need to get the um, database cleaned up on your Polish website because I made the grave error of deciding it would be a good idea to store the images for your nail polishes in the database. So the database is actually a lot larger than it needs to be. Did you read my mind, or did I actually ask the question I had out loud? You didn't. I I know what you're thinking. And I, I have a lot of work to do to drive down the cost, and then maybe it would be worth, us, worth it for us to drive Azure. Because the thing is, is that a lot of what he's doing is static pages that serve one purpose and don't... You, you have a front end to a database that is... I, I know your collection is probably peaking, but what if it doesn't? Like, it, it the it's the not cost will start to static. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the big difference. And like, if I reduce the database size, we probably might be able to get a decent price on Azure. But I just wanted to know if I'd actually ask the question out loud, or if you're just reading my mind over here. Uh the latter. What the hell is log analytics? I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> I don't understand the question and I won't respond to it. Oh, also, uh, this is the stuff for the estimate tool that I was talking about earlier. 
um, that Microsoft had built internally. Like it was like a pet project of someone on, on one of the teams and they're not on that team anymore, so they can't support it. But the code was open source on GitHub, so I just branched off. I, I, I forked off the code. I have my own copy of it, and I propped it up because we were using it at work, and then it stopped working one day because there's a back-end service that it needs to work. So I just put up a new back-end service. And if we go to it, you can see in the last... Where's my... Let's see. Um, I want, I got, oh, I guess we didn't do that. To, where's the, oh, there it is. Last three days. So you can see we used it at work on Monday and then it got used a little bit yesterday afternoon in our planning session oh i love you mo good night, mo. Good night. Go snuggle wedge for us give him give him so many extra scratches from me and tell him i love him so much but i also love you so much and go get some rest um so yeah so you can see like we've been using this estimating tool at work if i do it for like the last 30 days you can see on the days that we use it, like it's it's kind of it's kind of funny seeing the trends when we're actually using it, especially this past week. Like this past what was that last last week when we use it off a fuck ton. But anyway, I'm I'm not paying a whole lot. Yeah. If underscore.com blows up, so it's a static web app. So if I go to, let's go to, um, let me go to here. Because again, that's just, it's just serving up HTML. So if I go to the pricing calculator, go to the static web apps and the free tier gets me 100 gigs of bandwidth per month, half a gig of storage per app. I mean, because I'm only serving up HTML, like I don't have any images right there right now. The fonts are all offsite. They're all Google fonts that I'm bringing in. I'm getting so like few things. The free tier could support me for a really long time. If I upgrade to the standard and I do my my bandwidth overage of 100, let's say I'd like double that. That has now gone to $29. Like like 30 bucks. And then for every, like you can see for every gig, it's only 20 cents. So like if I like, say there's 900, say I get 10 times the amount of traffic that is above the cap, which I have to work really fucking hard to get to the cap. It's still only like 200 bucks a month. And that's part of why I'm doing the static ones because the static ones are just like, you get so much with it. And then let me see. I could probably see what kind of I'm getting on it right now because um, it just screwed around with it. Um, data out, like I've used like kilobytes of data. I haven't, I'm not even hitting like megabytes yet. And, because it's so small. Oh, it's not so small. Oh, well, thanks. Um, so, yeah. But, like, doing this kind of stuff, like the management and setting all this shit up, and, like, I love this stuff. This is, this is, this is fun for me. This gets me to do, like, I can do IT management and also coding at the same time. Which honestly is like my, that's, that's where I thrive. And then I do my stuff in Visual Studio Code. And I can come in here and open up, say like, this is under store.com site. And here's like all the build stuff for it. 
That's it. Like, that's basically the whole site is just, I don't know, like two dozen files. It's not much, but it's home. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's how I manage some of my burnout and deal with some oh of my the gosh, stress. So, so I, I have to be on at 630 tomorrow morning mm -hmm. and I took a nap and I woke up and it was 712 and I was like, fuck, I'm late. I think that's uh, not that a happens. good feeling. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's. Yeah. That is the very 6:30 in the morning no is good feeling. Too early. That's not a good way to wake up from a nap. Fuck. No. I had a day of work that was, I went in later than the rest of the week when I was um, up in Ohio and I woke up like freaking out at Chris because I thought he didn't like wake me up for work because I thought I was late for work and I wasn't at yeah. all. Yeah, I, yeah, that's not a fun feeling. Oh, also, Wait, there's like a, there's like a, three and a half hour window between when I wake up the first time like the ceiling off for work and everything and what our first meeting in the morning is so like I have a massive window of time to where I can relax if I need to um also it's been a week since I emailed Ocean Spray I haven't heard anything back from them yet Ooh. I love you Ocean Spray as you can see from my crazy box back here I love you very much yeah, you well, shake the, that fist at them. The next step is to find an Ocean Spray office somewhere and walk in and be like, hey, my email, my email. It's not my, been my, responded my email. to. They're in, like, Massachusetts because cranberries. Well, sounds like you got to go to Massachusetts. It sounds like I got to go Gross. visit Viv and then go get some cranberries. Just 20 minutes. It's just 20 minutes. It's, it's 20 fun. minutes, yeah. It's just 20 minute drive, it'll be fine. No, it's 40 minutes because you drive 20 minutes to Ohio and then you drive 20 more minutes to Massachusetts. If I don't go to Ohio, I just take the 20 minutes to Massachusetts. I don't think it works like that. So I would take the 40 minute drive over the like 20 hour drive. I'm almost entirely certain that it works like that. I, I have it, it doesn't on. doesn't work like that. I have it on good authority that it works like that. What good authority is this? Lollipop said so, and he's from Ohio and he knows where the stuff is. Yeah, but I'm also direct, a directional idiot, so you don't don't trust what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm, you don't you, you don't go by him. It's okay, no one so knows. So you have it on bad authority. Oh. <laughs> well, that doesn't make any See, sense. See, we told you to check your sources. Well, we told but it's you. It's on the internet. It must be true. We were just letting you know that you were talking shit and prepared to get hit. Dang. I mean, get, get wrecked, wrecked me. son. Yeah. I have had 6.1 megabytes of data throughput on my um, main website. And I guess it's since it, like I relaunched it a few days ago. So I haven't. How are you handling that volume? With Azure Static Web Apps. Do you, do you also have a uh, Zunder.score anywhere? Is dot .score a thing? Can it be a thing? I don't, I don't know. I think almost anything can be a thing. I have someone with a dot land. <laughs> if you're brave That's enough. Like... Anything the dildo if you try hard enough. It's oh my. Uh Zunder dot, dot score <laughs> is not a, it's is an invalid uh top level domain, so no, I could not do that. Huh. D D DNS is a hell of a dildo. Hey! Oof. I didn't ask for your opinion, buddy. 
Uh, he, Woof, he, you got gave, it. he gave it to you anyway. He's a giver. He is that. <laughs> um. I wonder. How are you liking the new job, Ellie? So far, so good. I haven't done a whole lot yet. But the whole, there's like a whole day training thing tomorrow, and it's in um, Adobe Connect, which I've spent like a decade working with, maybe more. And so uh, they're just having me observe tomorrow, and I'm like, okay, I can, I can do that. Almost anything can be a thing, it's true. Especially if you're brave enough. Or if you try hard enough. That's, yeah, that's also true. Also, I have tapioca pudding, and it's really good. Mm. Tapioca pudding. I'm putting it in my mouth. Mmm, pudding. <laughs> what? I have, I have a loosey goosey arm on my chair. Loosey goosey. We tried not having a loosey goosey arm. I'll do a tighten it down or something. Man, I'm really tempted to build something to do this. Create. Bloom section three mixed. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, boy. There is, there is, there is code. Automate DNS operations with the .NET SDK. I could build my own Hoosie What's It. Dynamic. Your own Hoosie What's It? Yes. Wow. 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 Dang. Wow. Thinking about it. I might. I don't know. You won't. Do it, you won't. I mean, I might not. You won't. You won't. Okay. That's you're probably right. You as long as you, you know won't. it. Is this the oh is this the C sharp one? This is a function? Is this a function? Oh my god, this is an Azure function. Wow, this 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 literally does it. This actually does the whole thing. Yeah, I totally know what you're talking about. Totally does it. I mean, the code's right here. Just read the code. Just gotta read yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, because I, you know. Yeah, I don't even read, read it. Code. Just copy paste that shit. Just, just, just do it. Just, just do it. I don't even have to copy paste it. I can just do the fork and then just boom. <laughs> Fine, I'll don't copy you. paste it. Just fork it. <laughs> Unfortunately, some of us don't read code as fast as you scroll, so, you know. It's fine. I don't read code as fast as I scroll. I don't even read code as fast as I read code, so, you know. Uh... Yeah, I said it. It does It does make sense. It does make sense. Yeah. Uh... Well, we'll tell you when you're older. Yeah. I'm older now. Wow. I'm older than you always, so tell wow. me now. Wow. That's not what I said. I didn't say older than me. To you didn't tell you specify when you're older. how, and I am older than you, so that is one impossible interpretation also, of what you said. Also, oh, no. it's been it's been time since you said it, so we are technically older. Also that. Sure. I didn't say how old you had to be. Right, so you can tell me now. I, I meet the criteria. Mm, no, I'll tell you when you're older. I meet the I'm criteria. Older now. Tell me now. Instructions mm. unclear. No, I'll, t I'll tell you when you're older. I'm, I'm older, older now. now. Tell me. Tell me. Not old enough, sorry. Wow. How about now? No. Wow. Am I old enough now? Wow. Nope. Am I old enough now? now? Nope. Am I old enough now? 
this is this is what this has devolved into. And I'm not sorry. Am I old enough now? Wow. Am I old enough now? Hmm. <sighs> yeah. Am I old Who's enough? Who's the now? adultiest Here adult of us all? Here you go, bud. Oh. Here you go. Accept oh. my apology. Am I old enough now? This is what I need. This is what I need <laughs> to deal with this. Hey, Chris. You're not old enough yet. What, what about now? now? Like just Every the sign. Just the sign. It like adds the, an like arbitrary amount of time of that only I know. <laughs> That's fine. But am I now? Put it in the it, Discord. You're, you're never going to later. be old enough if you keep asking. But the arbitrary amount of time could be long or could be shorter than the things I'm waiting, especially if it's truly actually arbitrary. It could be shorter than the time I wait. So I could be making progress. How about now? Doesn't arbitrary just mean that I'm I'm making the decision for shits and giggles, like it for no reason? On, I guess since it's arbitrary, not random. Time is a flat circle. So I mean, the internet is a series of tubes. Now? You're a series of tubes. I'll tube your series. So am I old enough now? No. What about now? Uh. Now you are, but unfortunately I have forgotten what we were talking about, so sorry, I'm not going to answer your question. But you promised me you would tell me when I was older, so... I didn't promise shit. Yes, I just said did. I would tell you when you were older. I didn't hey, promise anything. An inferred promise. Hey, Elena. I did, no, we're not inferring promises out of this. Hey, Elena. You're older now. He said he would tell you when you're older. Um, I'll go ahead and do it for you. You're older. When you're Thank older. You. <laughs> Have you been uh, sitting on that this whole time, waiting for that, or did you did, did it take you a minute? No, did the craisins help jumpstart the juice. No, juice been, for you. I I wanted to see how far I could take. I I could let this go before it just descended into just madness. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. You did all right. You did all right. Um, I, I feel I feel like clipping that sigh is is not a bad idea because clip it. I, we clip we and get, post it in, wait, we get that I out of him channel. at least once a night. Oh, at bare minimum. <laughs> yeah, barely. Puns. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting you're getting the bear stare. Hair bear stare? No. Is it the care bear stare? It's the no. Care bear stare. <laughs> care bear stare? No. But what about the Care Bear stare? But you could give the Care Bear stare if you cared enough to. But I'm not a Care Bear. Only you Care Bears be. can give a you Care Bear stare. You are a stare. bear who care. Who cares? But that doesn't make really me cares. a Care Bear. The Care Bear symbol scams. would be Crazins. So. I mean, I'm wearing a Kitarino, a giant Kitarino on my shirt, so. No, it'd be Crazins. Did I did I tell you what the uh, the resolution was from the for the masks? Are they actually sending they me resolved? one? Yeah, they're gonna send me though along with the proper size. Good. They better. By the way, if you want one of these uh, nifty Kitarino shirts, or a Captain Fucking Hopper's apron like this one right here. Or any number of neat stuff that I'm that I'm hawking. There you go. And none of it's sponsored by Microsoft, just so that we're understanding. None of it's sponsored and none by of it's Microsoft. Sponsored by Ocean Spray, despite his best or effort. Or Ocean Spray, yeah. Yeah, it's not even related to any to either one of them. Like it's I just... mean, Microsoft owns Minecraft, which is what spawned Kitarino and Captain Hopper, so it is. Very, very generically related to Microsoft. Yeah, it's. They're just in that style. I also wouldn't be surprised if uh, Zunder was, like, branded in some way, shape, or form with a Microsoft logo. I'm just pretty sure that, like, Zunder is coded by Microsoft. Um. When you close your. 
close your eyes and go to sleep at night, do you, do do you, do you sometimes see just blue? When you when you get sick, is there like a red ring anywhere? Like a red ring of death? Um, no, but have we? Have I ever told you about the time that I was on a podcast and they thought that I was the guy that had the Zoom tattoo? Have we have no. we had that discussion? No. Not Just to be enough. clear, you're not the guy with the Zoom tattoo. I am not the guy with the Zoom tattoo, no. I would totally believe that you would be. Okay. All right, you've seen the Zoom tattoo guy, right? believe so it's been if i has it's been a while i haven't this is the zoom tattoo guy okay so zoom logo on the arm welcome to the social on the shoulder on the shoulder blade okay this is zoom tattoo guy um there he is again now zoom tattoo guy um there was a rumor that I was a Zoom tattoo guy because we all know how much I chill. And also, you know, not remembering exactly what he looks like, you know, we have we both have that same generic, like, bearded, fat guy look, okay? So me and a, a Microsoft journalist who's been in that realm for decades, Ed Bot, we started this rumor um, along with Mary Jo Foley, who is also a Microsoft like related journalist who's been covering that stuff for decades. We started this rumor at the Microsoft Build Conference years ago that I was the Zoom tattoo guy. But whenever anyone would ask me if I was actually him, I would always say, that's the rumor. Because I'm not lying. That was actually the rumor. Um, so this ended up like coming into the this uh this podcast windows weekly that's over on twit tv and um well here I'll, I'll i'm gonna play just a clip of it real quick just so you can see this this is from this is several years ago uh let me have the audio It's it's kind of like uh, the Gilligan's Island thing, you know. And the rest, that's me. Uh, one day I'll be like the professor and Marion, and I'll add that that's, to the end. That is funny. You can call me Marion for the rest of the show. Why not? Let's just do that. By the way, um, okay, so we, the microphones user, that you see there, we have, we have you also know? my microphone, same one I got. Very very quality <laughs> stuff. I love it. <laughs> we have in studio guests. We have first up, we have Zachary. You might know him as the Zoom guy because he has a Zoom, he had a Zoom tattoo. See, see. <laughs> we got we got beer switches the here. Same? Are these the same beer? Yeah. Oh, that there we go. I so, have my beer. <laughs> would you like to come up? And so we can we can uh, yammer with you. And of course, I'm wearing yeah. I'm wearing a bathrobe. Awesome. You know, I've been waiting to meet you, even though we met last night. I didn't know who you were. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. you might so this this fellow here. You had a Zoom tattoo. Correct? That's the rumor. Yeah. The Zoom. That's the rumor. Like actually working That's the rumor. Tattoo. No. So we, we go on this whole thing for several minutes. And we talk about the conference and everything, but like, I just, I don't know. I thought that was fun to play that up. And then, so every year, um, Paul Thurot, the guy that was sitting next to me, uh, he still asks me when he sees me if I have the tattoo. Um, cause he still, th he still legitimately thinks that I have the tattoo. He still thinks like we came out to him. We told him it was a, it was this whole big prank, but he didn't, I don't think he believes us. So we like to fuck with him every year. So that was my that's my pointless story of the night. It's the one. Wow. Went for the throat on that one. Wow. It's fine. I'm just Ouch, my feels. Right. That's awesome. Right in the feels. Sorry, what, what? They were drinking on that one particular Windows Weekly, yeah, because everybody was in studio, and it was like the build after show thing, and yeah. But that was, 
Can I help you, ma'am? I don't know, like eight years ago or some Pork. shit. I would like more Taco Bell trash, mother. Yeah, mother. Oh, she also got my uh, Ben and Jerry's trash. Oh, no. Oh, like yeah. More trash, mother. Could this you mother. put more trash in the ga can, mother? This was mother, eight I years ago violence. last week. Woof. Hi, Pam. <sighs> Getting old, man. Getting shit. Getting? <laughs> eight years ago was when uh, the chuckle fuck met me. Chuckle chuckle? Chuckle, chuckle, fuck, fuck over there. It's when we... What, yo, I mean, that was pretty early on because that was before we met because that was how do you know, Paige? I thought we had already met at that point. Mm -mm. Because I confirmed that you weren't crazy before I met you. We met in late June. I don't, I don't know how to tell you this, but you might want to go run your confirmations again. <laughs> you might want to check your sources. <laughs> no, they didn't remember you, so you couldn't be as crazy as they were. That is that is very true. Yes, I oh, actually yeah. confirmed that he wasn't terrible by the fact that a friend group we shared didn't remember him, which meant that he wasn't uniquely and specially terrible. That's, yeah, I mean, that's that's fair. That's fair. Ah. Uh... And then we proceeded to, to meet at a Chipotle when I didn't like Chipotle and then stayed there and talking until two in the morning. He didn't tell me he didn't like Chipotle or I wouldn't have dragged him to Chipotle. Well, you found out and you haven't taken him since, so it's fine. No, now he oh, likes no, 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 I've grown on It's grown on me. Oh, well then. You've grown on it. Like a fungus. Fungus, fungus. fungus. Allie, He's trust the fungus. Mm -mm. Trust the fungus. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nope. Nope. You don't trust the fungus. Trust the bear. Who's telling you to trust the mm -mm. fungus? Nope. Oh, Not man. about fungus. We're all a little mad here. <laughs> all of us. Just a little. Just a little. <laughs> I'm the one that keeps putting on this circus. So, what does that say about me? I don't know. You invited me to it. <sighs> what are you saying? I can't remember if you invited me or if I invited myself. Oh, who remembers? That's been that's been ages now. You're welcome here, which means he invited you, because if he didn't want you here, you wouldn't be here. That's true. That's a true point. That is a very, very true point. And the fact that I can freely come and go means I was actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's also true. I mean, you're modded in the Twitch channel, so... You know. Right? Like, that. that that's, that's high praise. What? Is it? Tom, <laughs> Tom was the first modded, so... Is it? I'm just saying it's a pretty elite I am club. The ring it's high praise. I'm, I am the I'm just saying master. the biggest, I'm some the of the biggest master. pains in his butt are some of his mods. So no, I'm just saying that it's not an elite keyboard. club. <laughs> oh, 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 by the way, by the way, hey, 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 hey streamer, bitch. <laughs> Have a good time. <sighs> you know, I uh, for those of you who who aren't um, uh, who aren't you know who, who travel to other Twitch channels and watch other streamers. Um, what you know, was that like? Be wary, be wary. There's a gang of folks that are going around. They are harassing streamers. Um, you recognize them because they have these little green. Uh, squares with swords next to their names. Be, oh, I, watch out for them. I've seen those. Yeah, I've seen those. Thankfully, yep. I, I haven't been subject to any of them. Yeah. Yeah. I tried to join the gang, but uh, they're a very elite gang. Well, they're something. Sometimes they some 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 they are bad news for bears. Sometimes they have little diamonds, little purple Your squares with diamonds might, next to their names. You might, you might say they're staff members. But that's yeah. not a purple square. I was waiting, I was waiting for staff. I was waiting for oh, staff members pink? to come up. Are they pink? Are they pink? Are they pink? Hold on. Yeah, they are pink. Oh, okay. 
I haven't seen. I oh okay. Well there. The purple, All right. The well, I didn't. The is the check mark. Okay. Well, way I to rub it in that we're not. Way to rub it in that we're not partnered. Gosh. I mean, <laughs> right. Whatever. You, you'll get it before I do. Anyway. Um. Well. I mean, some tonight was somewhat productive. Yeah, you we're coded. Working on your burnout. I did. I did. And you coded. I coded. I made a thing, and it works. It works. Um, do you like it? I do. Or do you already hate it? No, it's a redirect. Like, there's nothing not to like about it. Um. So yeah, that's about it. Um. Tomorrow's special stream. Tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern. Um. The Windows event starts. So I'm gonna start at 10:30. 10.30, going live, right here, same bat time, same bat channel. Uh, I will, well, I guess it's not the same bat time. Uh, same bat Definitely channel. Different bat time. Yes, different bat time. Um, so, 10.30 a.m. Eastern, I'm going to be here, um, getting ready for all the Windows event stuff. So, come hang out if you have the chance, if you have the opportunity, I will be here. Um, and we're going to talk about Windowsy stuff, and I'm going to look forward to all the stuff that they're going to... Uh, announce with the changes in Windows 11 and um, yeah it'll be great uh, I might bring my other Microsoft coffee mug from downstairs with actual coffee in it I don't know yet I haven't decided we'll see Whoa. what happens um, and then of course Friday is Fortnite Friday night happy hour we'll be co-streaming with that goober way up at the top there Miss Allie Pup me yay we um, and uh that's pretty much the extent of it. Um, also, I have stuff that I'm probably going to um, that I'm probably going to um, announce with some fun stuff that we might try out. So maybe some some yes. some, some fun stuff. But we'll talk about that on Friday. For now, fun stuffs. Fun stuffs. Let's go raid friend Muggle Mama. Cause she's she's a good yeah, muggle we mama. We love the muggle mama. We do. She's she's and husband. It's true. The muggle mama and and the husband. She, they're they're both they're both good eggs. So no 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 just just husband not the husband. Yes. That's what I said. It's that's fine. That's 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 what that's exactly what I said. No. no yeah. No. Yeah. That's totally what I said. No. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. I said it. That's that's what I said. Okay. There's the raid message. You know the drill. Go give her lots of love. Um, be nice, or I will find you and do really mean things, gross things to your I ear or something. On you. Also that, probably. Um, anyway, uh, hopefully see you all tomorrow for the Windows event. Definitely hope to see you all Friday night for Fortnite Friday night happy hour. Until then, bye. Bye.